you ever noticed that multiple Nintendo games have these very similar star-related collectibles? With a familiar, cute, colored, spiky ball shape. We've got Star Bits, Star Fragments in Animal Crossing, Star Fragments in Breath of the Wild, Gratitude Crystals in Skyward Sword, Minior from Pokemon, Katsumari probably? There's so many! And there's probably even more I'm not thinking of. Let me know if you can think of any others. It's pretty likely that most of these were based on the same Japanese candy called Kompeto. And I actually bought some to show you. This is what they look like. Aren't they so pretty? They come in all kinds of colors, these ones are just purple, and I have tried them before and they're delicious. In Super Mario Galaxy, Rosalina's storybook says that star bits taste like honey. And I think um, Japanese kompeto tastes very similar to rock candy. I'll pick one out. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna put better footage over this where it's focusing better. You can see those little bumps all around and I'm gonna try some. Mm. They're so good! So good! It's such a nice, like, soft, hard candy. I know that doesn't make sense, but, like, it's a hard candy that you can chew easily, you know? It tastes nostalgic to me, even though it's not an American candy. Highly, highly recommend giving these a try if you have the chance. The word competo actually comes from the Portuguese confeito, which is a similar style of candy that was introduced to Japan back in the 16th century. Portugal was actually one of the first Western cultures to trade with Japan, and that influenced Japanese culture in several ways. Even tempura has Portuguese influences. So they introduced the technique for producing these candies. But Japan didn't really have access to a large-scale sugar refining infrastructure, so originally Competo were very expensive and hard to come by. Not the case anymore, of course, they are now very popular. They can be found at parties and celebrations, given as gifts, even paired with coffee or tea, and even found on some Japanese Starbucks frappuccinos. That's amazing. <laughs> Now the process of creating these starts with single coarse grains of sugar that are slowly and repeatedly coated with sugary syrup by rotating it around in this big heated tub called a dora. And it can take up to two weeks to make them, at least in the traditional way. There are very skilled artisans that specialize in making competo. And the sort of uneven coating of syrup is what causes those little bumps. Back in the day, they would actually put a seed in the center, like a sesame seed or a poppy seed, but nowadays it's usually just plain sugar, sometimes with added flavoring. They're clearly an iconic part of the culture to be featured in so many games, not to mention the famous scene in Spirited Away with the soot sprites, and for me as a kid I was introduced to them through a Sailor Moon movie. And I really like these as a symbol for stars, I mean, they're definitely more similar in shape to an actual star compared to like the five-pointed star, and they're just so inherently cute. So I love seeing these pop up in my favorite games. So that's all for today, just wanted to do a quick little video on this topic. Have you ever tried these star candies, or do you want to try them? Let me know in the comments below, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.